Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nat Nato, and welcome back, finally, to Corpse Party Book of Shadows. It has been ages since I played this freaking game, and I pretty much forgot what the hell's going on, so I went back and watched the last episode, and I remembered that I hit a dead end, so here I am hiding. So... Last time I hid in the podium and I got raped, so this time let's try the supply locker. Just to see whether this is the right choice or not. <clears throat> Gosh, I forget the voices. I'll just run with it for now anyway. I hurriedly squeezed myself into the metal locker, where the classroom's cleaning supplies were kept. It was still pitch black in the room, so I really couldn't spare the time it would take to remove its contents. Instead, I just contorted myself to fit. Ugh. <coughs> the locker was thick with the smells of mold and varnish. If I can hold my breath for just a little while, I think I'll be safe in here. So I waited. I waited for the footsteps to pass by and fade into the distance, signaling that it was safe to emerge. Whoever it is had better hurry. I feel like I'm going to suffocate in here if I... Wait, suffocate if I'm in here much longer. Still, it felt a lot safer in the locker than it did out in the room. But the footsteps weren't receding. They were just getting louder, closer, faster. Oh god, creepy. Okay, I understand. Ratatat, good band. And then they came to a sudden halt. Huh? They were close, just outside the locker. I peered through the ventilation holes. Amidst the utter darkness of the classroom, there wasn't a soul to be seen. I'm okay. As long as I stay in here, I'll be fine. I'm not sure why I believed that. Maybe because I needed to. Maybe because it was so dark. Or because I felt so much calmer in such a tight space, where nothing could possibly sneak up behind me. I didn't know why, and I didn't care. I just knew that, as far as I was concerned, I was safe in here. So I stood, motionless and cramped, and I waited. I didn't have to wait long. What was that? It sounded like a door locking. Suddenly apprehensive, I gently nudged the supply closet door, just to make sure it would still open for me when I wanted it to. Ah! No! It's locked! Found you. Ah! I let out a sudden yelp at this unknown voice, and tried with all my might to push open the door blocking my escape. No! No, please! Let me out! Let me out! Is somebody still here? You'll need to be punished for that. Uh, huh? There was a brief moment of silence following the eerie voice's unsettling proclamation. And then... Crash, crunch. The metal walls around me, on all four sides, began warping inward, as if the supply locker had somehow been fed into a trash compactor. Ow! What's going on? There was no force I could imagine that should have been able to do this, but it was happening. This already confined space was steadily closing in on me. <laughs> No! It hurts! Open the door! Let me out! Crash crunch. The collapse of the locker all around me continued, slowly and steadily. I could feel all manner of things pushing and cutting into my body. My vision went bright red. One of the blood vessels in my eyes probably burst from the pressure. I wasn't going to last much longer. The ventilation holes in the locker door were now pressed right up against my face. 
and through them, I could just barely make out the figure of a person. It was the old woman from this morning. She was standing just outside the slats, staring right into my eyes. It was the last sight I would ever see, as the locker finally, inevitably, smashed in my skull. Crash, crunch, crack, splat. Ah, well, it didn't take much to realize that that was going to be a wrong end, now did it? Oh, well, I guess that's another thing that we would have missed had I gotten it right the first time. So, I understand that I wasn't supposed to stay in the room at all, so let's jump ahead to the point in which I can, uh, do that. Yeah. Okay, we're back, and all I can say is thank you, Past Nathan, for saving here. I am not going to be happy if I had to go all the way through that text stuff again to get to here. Anyway, should I or shouldn't I? Well, 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 let's get the hell out of this room, because we already know that we're going to get raped if we stay. Okay, I really don't have time to play around right now. I should get out of here. I decided it would be best to put my yearnings aside and leave the classroom behind. Well, that particular wonder turned out to be nothing at all, it seems. Guess it's all just superstition. I couldn't believe I'd gotten all indignant with Tsukasa over something so trivial. Thinking about it now, it seemed kind of ridiculous. Alright, time to head home. I have to get to bed early, so I'll be ready for tomorrow. With this in mind, I walked toward the classroom door and took one step out into the hall, when suddenly... Huh? Uh, uh, ah! The door slid shut on its own with incredible force, and my neck was trapped in the narrow opening that remained. I dug my nails into the door, frantically trying to open it back up. But the more I pushed on it, the more it pushed back, further constricting my neck. I was flailing my limbs, twisting and con contorting my body, trying everything I could to escape. Why? 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 My neck was clamped tightly. I could feel the blood rushing to my head. I couldn't breathe. Opening my mouth in terror, I stuck my tongue out, as if trying to swallow the air. <coughs> Forcefully shaking my head left and right, I swiveled my body to face the ceiling. That's when I saw the tall, pitch-black silhouette of a person. <laughs> a silent scream squirmed its way out of my throat, but the door was still pressing onto my neck. I... I can't... Tsukasa! My vision whirled, and I felt a sensation of falling. At the same time, a lukewarm liquid began pouring over my face, over my face. What? As I was struggling to make sense of what was happening to me, the door that had been violently cr crushing my neck quietly slid open. The floor of the schoolhouse came down hard on my head. My vision had gone white and begun blurring, but I could still see. I can see... my body. I was rolling across the hallway, and there... In the door frame, I caught sight of my own headless torso collapsing in a heap on the floor. What just happened? The last thing I saw, out of the corner of one bloodshot, unfocusing eye, was the familiar figure of the old woman from this morning.
What? Impossible! Another wrong end? The whole classroom is a setup! Duh! No! God damn it! Oh no, that means I have to go through everything again! The whole text thing. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I guess I'll. I'll see you at the. the choice which will save me. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out when I get there. Ah, <sighs> see you then. Okay, guys, we're back. I was going through my save files, right? And I found one which was just a bit further than the first one that I played this episode. And this is the one where I'm hiding already in the teacher's podium. And I recall that there was a second option here. So, last time I think I said that I would stay hidden, didn't I? So this time I should make a break for it. And I'll escape. Uh, I freaking hope anyway, let's do it. Okay. Staying in one place for too long seemed like it would be inviting trouble. So I took a deep breath and reluctantly crawled out, as quietly as I could. But almost immediately, I felt something. Something long and thin had struck me in the back of the head. Or perhaps, struck isn't the right word. There was a little force behind it. But it wasn't a hard slam, more like someone trying to get my attention. Is that... A wooden rod? Oh no, it's a finger. I knew I wouldn't like what I was going to see, but I had to turn and face whatever this was. So I turned around, and there, looming over me, was... Is somebody still here? Ugh! Go home, child. A figure was peering down at me from above the podium, with one emaciated, wishbone-like finger extended toward my face. I recognized this person instantly. No doubt about it. This was the strange old woman who'd supposedly passed away earlier. Ah! I was scared out of my mind. I tumbled the rest of my way out from under the podium and shot to my feet. <laughs> a ghost! There really was a ghost in this school! My breathing was ragged and my heart was pounding so hard I thought it might explode. Plowing through all the desks in my way, I ran as fast as I could toward the classroom door. But that was as far as I could go. What's wrong? <sighs> there in the open doorway was the same old woman emitting a bluish-white glow. This was the source of the light I'd seen through the window earlier. But how in the world did she get to the door before I did? <laughs> I felt like I was starting to hyperventilate, and tried as best as I could to calm my breathing as my eyes darted around the room. I needed to get out of here now, to get as far away from this place as I possibly could. If the front door is blocked, maybe I can get out through the back. But if I do that, I can't leave the school without running right past her. <laughs> There's no way she'd let me by, but I have to do something. I bit my lip and continued scanning the room. Something... if I just had something I could use to fight back. I didn't have time to think carefully about it. I just had to grab something and hope for the best. There were two choices, and I had to pick one on impulse, before it was too late. Oh shit. Bag of salt, done. The broom's not gonna do anything. This looks like... leftover salt from an old chemistry experiment? I'd heard that salt was used in purification rituals, so it seemed like a natural choice. Okay. This is coming with me. I placed the salt in my pocket as a sort of protective charm. 
I'm scared, but, well, here goes nothing. When I looked over, the spirit of the old woman was holding out her hand from the other side of the door frame. She really was trying to catch me. I wasn't just being paranoid. She was going to kill me and turn me into a ghost like her. I was convinced. This had to be Yoshi, the teacher from that urban legend. No, I won't let her get me. Bracing myself, I darted toward the door at the back end of the classroom. There wasn't a moment to lose. If I didn't act fast, I probably wouldn't be able to act at all. I threw the door open and just began running at top speed, hoping to escape behind the spirit's back. Unsurprisingly, trying to outrun a ghost proved to be a fruitless endeavor. The spirit saw me and moved at breakneck speed to intercept. Stop! Ah, don't come any closer! I thrust my hand into my pocket and withdrew the bag of salt then threw the entire thing directly at the old woman's face. Yeah! She... she recoiled! Now's my chance! I ran down the hall as fast as my legs would carry me, briefly glancing over my shoulder after a moment to confirm that the spirit was still writhing. I just kept on running down that dark hallway, with nothing but adrenaline and mortal fear to keep me going. I reached the stairwell at the end of the hall, and made a mad dash toward ground level. I was determined to get out of this building alive. Stop! Finally, still moving at top speed, I reached the windowed door leading outside. Almost there. I'm almost out. Luckily. The malevolent spirit hadn't caught up to me yet. It actually seemed like I might be able to escape. I might actually survive this. I made it! I grabbed the handle and tried pulling it. Huh? No. No! It's not opening! Why? Why? I'm so close! Please, please open, I'm begging you. I have to think of something else. At this rate, that horrible woman's going to... No, I can't let that happen. P but what do I do? What can I do? Mm oh, crap. Oh, crap, that's bullshit. Can I save? Holy shit, I can save. Holy shit. I've only got, like, fucking four seconds to choose, but... God damn it, I'm gonna save anyway. Oh! Holy crap! Alright, here we go. Alright, 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 we got this. What do I do now? What do I do? Ah. Uh, what? Oh, I think that it just skipped. I'd basically lost all ability to think. This was a matter of life and death, but my mind seemed to have already given up and given in. I knew I had to move fast to survive. But whatever options I may have had a moment ago seemed to float off into the ether, leaving me dumbfounded. The way out was right in front of me, but I was powerless to take it. I raised my head to see if the ghost had caught up to me yet, and I quickly found that she had. Uh. I had the sudden sensation of something seizing me by the throat, accompanied by an unpleasant crunching sound. God, she really did have me by the throat. I couldn't breathe. For as old and frail as she looked, she was uncommonly strong. <laughs> gotcha. No. She was actually gripping me so tightly that she'd managed to raise me off the ground by my neck. I could see her slender, bony hand in the periphery of my vision and feel it cutting into my trachea. Was that hand really holding me in the air against my will, kicking and flailing by just the tissue and bones of my neck? I couldn't struggle anymore. I was like a puppet on a string. Tag, you're it.
With a sudden crack, my field of vision shifted ninety degrees, and everything turned blood red. Oh my, just like me. <laughs> Well, once again, that was pretty easy to, uh, to see that that was coming. But, uh, for now, I'm all out of time, so I will see you guys in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Like, I know it's been a long time. I'm, uh, gonna try and roll these out real quick for you guys. Um, bit of advice from a friend of mine. Instead of making really long episodes, I'll just make 20-minute ones, but at least that means that you'll have, like, constant uploads instead of, like, you know, every now and then. But I'm going to try my best to do that anyway. Like, I got work and stuff and uni, and it's all piling down on me, but every time I check YouTube and I see all the positive feedback and stuff I'm getting, I just feel terrible for not being able to upload. So, yeah, I'm going to do my best to keep it up for you guys, like, despite everything that's going on, you know? So, thanks for, um, thanks for looking out for me. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next piece of shit that I upload, so, bye. I'm gonna go to the top of 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 the top